Today I'm gonna tell you about how Lincoln Riley says the quarterback race is still wide open. And you can hear from this audio that he was emphatic about that. And all that's coming up after the bump. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. But does it, does it really? Well, that ain't no joke, but you know, not for the reasons that they want it to be. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. I'm at Frisco, Texas for Big 12 Media Days, where Lincoln Riley gave an outstanding presser. But I also got to talk to guys like running back Rodney Anderson, and I asked him, what does he expect for himself in 2018? No, I expect to do what I've always done, and that's, you know, put my head down and work and do whatever the team wants me to do. I feel like uh, I've always been good at, you know, just following instructions and, you know, doing what the coach wants me wants me to do. But one of the things Rodney was most excited to talk about was his relationship with strength coach Benny Wiley and how it's much different to have a strength coach who says, yo, go squat 500 pounds and have a coach who can squat 500 pounds with you. I think that Coach Wiley is you know, one of the best strength coaches that I've ever been around. And, uh, you know, that's that's no sneak diss to Schmitty because Schmitty got the job done and, you know, he, he created a bunch of great players. But, um, you know, Benny, Benny is outstanding. You know, he, he does work out next to us, and, you know, that shows a lot that, that he believes in what he's doing enough to put himself through it. And so, you know, I, I feel like he's done a great job getting us in shape, getting us strong, and getting us ready for the season. And for a man of his age, no disrespect to Benny Wiley, but, you know, you over 40, dog. For him to be able to surprise a guy who is athletically as gifted as Rodney Anderson is no small feat at all. And Rodney spoke to how he gets surprised by Benny Wiley on a daily basis. <laughs> Every day, I mean, he, he like, just just the fact that he's over, he's over 442, I think, and still like putting up 315 like like it's nothing like over th like 340 like it's nothing squatting over 300 like it's nothing like running next to us like it's nothing I mean he's just uh, he's a he's a freak of nature a fellow running back and uh, you know I love him. Now let's take it back to Lincoln Riley and one of the things that he wanted to hit on was that Kyler Murray is not the guy yet and he's going to have to do a ton to prove he is the guy. Let's take a listen. Question on the right side, Brian. Hey, Lincoln, uh, Brian Baldwin with Fox Sports. Uh, we all loved watching Baker play the last three years. Phenomenal, phenomenal playmaker. But in Kyler, we're looking at a different athlete and uh, maybe a better runner. So will the offense change at all with Kyler quarterback? Well, Kyler's not the quarterback yet, all right? There's a really, really good competition going on right now. Tyler's going to have to fight like crazy to win this job. Uh, it's a different competition than it's been in the last few years. It's very different because you've got two guys that have been in it. Both have been Baker's backups in the last two years. They've both been in multiple years. And they're both good enough and both ready to be the start quarterback in Oklahoma. And so... You know, first things first, he's got to win that job. And, and whoever wins it, whether it's Austin Kendall or Kyler Murray, the, the offense will look different, no question. Uh, they're, they've got different skill sets than Baker. There's some things that uh, Baker did better than these guys do. There's some things that these guys do better than Baker did. And so, you know, that's always your job is once we, you know, narrow down who that guy is, and, you know, we've got to do a good job of coaches of, of tailoring it to those guys and giving them the best chance for success, but I think the mo most important thing, or at least most important thing early for us, is let's make sure we get the right guy. You know, let's let's put them through this competition. Let's test these guys. Let's really put them through it because we got two guys that are more than capable of getting this team to where we need to be. So from these comments, we can ascertain that Lincoln Riley seems to be taking this quarterback competition extremely seriously. And because he knows that he's got two guys that can absolutely play the position, he's not willing to just give it to Kyler Murray. However, we all know common sense says Kyler Murray's get one year of playing college football before he's going to go play pro baseball. And we have to believe that Lincoln is going to give the edge to that guy, even in his subconscious. Or you can throw all of that out and just believe what he said there. You can listen to the full Lincoln Riley press conference on the Woosah podcast, which I will link above. I'll see you tomorrow. Deuces.